Yes, yes, yes. Hey guys, it's Joe and Bailey here, and we are, where are we on? Tip number three, I believe. And we're sort of getting into the area where, actually almost all top five tips, uh, they're all pretty tough to, to rank. They're all pretty important. And, you know, especially starting with this one. You want to make sure, especially, especially in the beginning of the year, you want to make sure you close the books on last year's business. And not just last year's business, but last year in general. Um, yeah, that's what biz businesses do. They close their books, they look forward, put a new plan into effect, and they try to follow that plan. And if you're sitting there dwelling on last year's mistakes, um, you know, placed some bad ads, didn't work out, wasted a little bit of money, um, joined the wrong program, and in the beginning, that can happen to people. There's a lot of people out there that are very influential and you know can get you to do things you may not normally do you know uh, they can persuade you and you, you fall for a couple things especially in the beginning if you're not used to some of the lingo and the jargon and you get kind of sucked into the hype it happens and don't beat yourself up over it you know, that's what a lot of people beat themselves up over it and they just put a big mental roadblock right in front of them uh, so you know don't dwell on that Shut the books, move forward, and you also want to make sure you don't rest on your laurels from last year either. Just because you had a great 2008 does not mean 2009 is going to be just as good. So if you did certain things to become successful in 2008, step it up a touch. Keep yourself moving forward because competition is getting more fierce and you have to do that much more than the next person. You know, to, to keep that to keep that kind of pace going so again close the books and it's very I guess relevant for this time of year being New Year's but you can close the books anytime <laughs> you know, if you had an awful week shut the books forget it move on just start a new plan tweak the plan and move forward you had a bad day shut the books move forward so that's my tip number three for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this, again, I hope this really helps you guys get the year off to a good start or your week or your month or your day whenever you decide to shut those books. All right? Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.